Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to share all the products that I regret buying. Some of the products that I'm about to show you are highly recommended by a lot of beauty influencers. So I never expected them to be on my regret buying list. So yep, without any further ado, let's just get started with this video. The first product on my list is this Nykaa BB Cream. Now this product oxidizes a lot. It makes me look really orange but the main problem is not oxidization I can like manage oxidization it's okay but the main problem is this cream is not waterproof not even water resistant so if I get tiny bit of sweat on my face this just melts off and it looks so weird and bad oh my god people actually point out and say which face cream you are wearing it's melting off and looking awful on top of that i think it's not even blend onto the face very easily i think my pond's bb cream works better than this one and it's just a lot cheaper than the nika bb cream the next product is the maybelline gel liner now this is a really popular product and a lot of people love it but i haven't used it much I have used it once or maybe twice but not more than that because this gel liner actually dried up like within one month this liner dried up completely I can't even use it I can't do anything next product is the Neutrogena sunscreen now this is a really hyped up really popular product a lot of people recommend this sunscreen for oily skin types as well and that's why I bought it and when I used it I was like no girl it's not working out at all. It's not suitable for oily skin types and I have done a full review on this sunscreen so I will leave a link in the description box below. Next product is again a sunscreen. It's the Biotique Bio Carrot Sunscreen. This is suitable for people who have dry skin or really dry skin. Next is the Rimmel Eye Makeup Remover. Now this product I got it on 50% off. So this is a makeup remover specifically made to remove eye makeup but guess what? It irritates the eyes and gives them burning sensation which I don't think anyone wants. I think Garnier Micellar Water is way more gentle than this eye makeup remover. If you are wondering how I have used this much of the product so let me tell you i use this to remove my face makeup because you know what i have spent my money onto it and i want to use it next up we have essence multi action mascara essence have a lot of mascaras some of them are really good for example their i love extreme volume mascara is one of my favorite mascaras of all time but some of their mascaras are not at all good for example this one so the problem with this mascara is this actually flakes off so when you apply it after few hours this mascara actually flakes off and you could see all the mascara flakes onto your cheeks hate it so yeah that's all for this video i do hope you guys enjoyed it thank you so much for watching bye